What are we even doing here? Well, today we're in for a treat. We're gonna try out Briosa spiced sardines in olive oil. Word on the street is Briosa is pretty good. I've been holding on to this can for quite a while. Uh, Mrs. Experiencing Matthew Carlson picked these up for me way back in the summertime from a fancy grocery store. And um, they're packed like a bar of soap which I love, and um, ordinary can. Oh, I can't wait. Let's just cut to the chase here. Open them up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, what do we see? Love the way that olive oil gets tinted by the spicy stuff. And I love how that sort of yellowing plays on the skin of the Deans. These are some pretty fat, firm boys. Just love looking at them. A little moved up on the skin here. That's okay. Not a lot of scales on here, man. They figured out how to get them off. Look at this guy. Spine sticking right out. Oh my god, where's my head? Where's my freaking head? Where'd you guys put it? No tails. Let's just smoke this guy. Cool, cool, cool. Real good. Real good. Mm. Too easy to eat. Um, this is kind of, I, I believe this is going to be in the same vein as the, the Nuri Spice Sardines. Because what does this have? Does this have the cloves? Because I'm getting a little bit of that sort of... Um, do -do 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 -do. Yeah. This is like the same sort of formulation. I don't... Did the Nuri... Oh yeah, this has got a carrot at the bottom. Chili pepper, cucumber, carrot, pepper, seed, clove, and salt. The clove really always sticks out. I made such a big deal about it in the Nuri's. I kind of acted like I didn't like it, but I was just so like, what is this taste sensation? And even though it's at the bottom of the ingredients list, which ostensibly means that it's like the least, you know, amount in the can, it's what pokes out at me, you know? It's like, I don't know, it's, Remember when the goth kids or the poetry club kids would smoke the cloves, you know, back in high school? Kind of a mushy belly on this guy. Ooh, that spice is playing hardball with the roof of my mouth here. This is a lot of fun. Let me just break this part open so we get a chance to see the inside a couple of them. Um, tough, these guys don't want to break apart. Okay. Almost kind of dry on the inside. But not not like it's dry. It's just I don't know the the, the meat's nice and firm. I just ate the can of seasons in olive oil and I liked them all right for a supermarket fish. One day I got to I got to blow a couple of cans and I gotta do like a shootout where I have fancy fish, supermarket fish, Portugal, Spain, and I just gotta get to the bottom of all this stuff because I don't I don't consider my memory and my like division of subjective experiences to be something that I can keep up with. That's why I don't tear the sardines and I don't give them ratings because it's so subjective and something I dislike on one day is something maybe I could like on another day. So I try not to tie what I say in these videos to like the brand or whatever. Like we're going to try them over and over again and see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just going to take this over here and um, I just, I want to get, I want to get this guy open neatly so we can we can really see. What's going on here? Okay, I got a little bit of like 
I don't know, tracked or something. Who knows? Let's see if the spine wants to come out. Oh my god, this guy, all, all of his pieces, they're gripped in there. This is a tough little fish. Oh yeah, look at this. Now we got kind of the, the bone sticking out of the spine, hanging on there. I don't know. I don't know what I think it tells me if I can rip the whole spine out or something. You know, who does that? Like Sub Zero. One of those fish was a real doozy, like spice-wise. The rest of these aren't so like heavy on the flavor. Oh, let me just. Let me just try to make some new friends by eating this pepper. Mm -hmm. Woo! Exploded in my mouth. This was great. I liked them. I want to see more from Briosa. Maybe I'll uh, I'll see what they have at the store next time. I know where I can find these nearby. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Hey, what's going on? Hope this one finds everyone well. Coming up, we've got some Patagonia mackerel, some Jose Gourmet cans, and some really fun stuff I ordered that should have arrived by the time you're hearing this. So I hope you'll join me for all of that. Thanks, bye.